Hi guys, it's Camille and we are bringing back some Camille's choices for you guys and today we're starting off at the River Coffee and Cream in Wrightstown with me. So, let's go, let's go. <laughs> Mountain Ethiopian Natural Coffee. This is called the Bloom. So we just add a little bit of water at the beginning. And with a pour over, there's quite a bit of waiting. So we have internationally acclaimed Johnson Brothers JVC Coffee out of Madison. There's a lot of stuff going on right here to make a great cup of coffee. You know the coffees go when it fogs up your glasses. <laughs> Alright guys, so this is their smoked salmon salad, which is really cool to find at a cafe, if you ask me. And their salmon is delicious, it tastes so fresh, and they get it local. Apparently it's from Kiwani, so local fish, local everything here, very good flavor. All right guys, so two of our three entrees that Katie and I are sharing today is their pulled pork sandwich, which this is house rubbed and roasted overnight, and it looks delicious. Big fan of pulled pork if you guys have ever watched Camille's Choices before. I tried this pulled pork inside, so I already know it's delicious, but I'm gonna eat it again. <laughs> Yes, it is just so good. Wow. Delicious. But this is delicious. It's nice and moist and like tender and just delicious and it pairs really well with just a little bit of this barbecue sauce and it would be really good with some cheese on top of it too. But like the bun is also just the right amount of bread. Sometimes the sandwiches are just too flaky and this is kind of like a thicker cut bun. I I love it. It's the perfect little sandwich to enjoy with a cup of coffee for lunch. Okay, so here we have the chicken bacon ranch sandwich that has house-made thick-cut peppered bacon. Um, I see it has a good amount of chicken on there, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be too much, so I'm very excited to try this. So here we go. This is really good. You can taste the bacon but it doesn't overpower the chicken, which is a big problem on a lot of sandwiches. It's definitely thick and crunchy, which goes really good with the tender chicken that's in here. And the ranch, you can taste the flavor coming out, but it's not overbearing, which is really good. And as Camille said about the, mm, the pulled pork, the, the bun, there's not too much of it, where it's really dry and gross. Yeah, I really like this. Okay guys, we just finished up at the River Coffee and Cream and it was so good. It was so fun and unexpected. We kind of came into the situation expecting like just a basic coffee shop, just kind of a nice cute cafe with you know a quaint little menu and stuff like that and it was all of that but it was also so much more. Like we got pulled pork sandwiches, a salmon salad, we got a chicken bacon ranch sandwich, we also got just pour over coffee and then also two lattes so we got a chocolate chai latte and also a beet latte and overall everything was delicious all of the meat was prepared so well and the sandwiches were very very good all together um, but my favorite part was definitely like the variation of drinks that we tried today and also all the drinks that we didn't even try or even dip into um, the beet latte overall was like my favorite because it was so cool and Deb, the owner, was even telling us like, it's actually kind of good for you and it gives you, if you drink a whole cup of it, it gives you all the nutrients of like eating a beet. So all the vitamins and nutrients and all of that, which is super cool to think of when you're actually drinking the latte. And it also tasted bomb. So definitely my favorite part overall, even though everything was spectacular. 
Yeah, so my favorite part, um, I think was the owner, Deb, actually. You know, she sat down with us, talked about the menu, and any questions we had, she could tell you the entire background. She knew the background of all the coffee she had, all the backgrounds of all the meat she had, and it was really cool to know where all the food was coming from. And the coffee that we had was actually a natural coffee, so she went through on how they harvest all that kind of coffee, and it was really cool. So if you come here and you have any questions, she will probably be able to just sit down and tell you anything you could possibly be wondering. Thank you, the River Coffee and Cream. Is it recording right now? Mm -hmm. <laughs> And it was, oh, that was the bag.